hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel hope you all will be fine uh, first of all i would like to thank you all for supporting me and if you are new to my channel please subscribe to my channel and i request you to watch the full video it's me Zan, the financial analyst and i will tell you about what's happening in the iraq and uh, when actually the revaluation is happening and all the news is related to iraqi dinar revaluation so without wasting our time let's start the video in recent discussions, it has been suggested by Newshound Intel guru Fennu Elanu that major banks such as Wells Fargo, J.P. Morgan Chase in the United States, and Standard Chartered in Canada and the UK have exclusive concessions for handling the exchange of the Iraqi dinar. This raises an important question. Who exactly do these banks have concessions with, and what does it mean for the process of exchanging Iraqi dinar in these countries? The answer lies in Iraq's central bank, CBI, which plays a key role in determining which banks are authorized to handle the exchange of the Iraqi dinar internationally. The CBI selects certain banks, known as contractor banks, to facilitate these transactions. These banks are essentially given the exclusive right to handle the exchange of the dinar in their respective regions. In return, they receive commissions for facilitating the process. This arrangement ensures that the exchange process is streamlined and managed efficiently, preventing the chaos that would arise if every local or regional bank attempted to handle the dinar exchange on their own. So, if you're in the U.S. and looking to exchange your Iraqi dinar, you won't be able to just walk into any small local bank and expect them to handle the transaction directly. Instead, local banks, especially smaller ones, would likely send the currency to one of the larger contractor banks, such as Wells Fargo or J.P. Morgan Chase, which have been specifically designated by the CBI to manage these transactions. These contractor banks are equipped with the necessary resources, infrastructure, and expertise to handle the process efficiently and in accordance with the agreements they've established with Iraq's central bank. Now let's consider why the CBI has chosen this route. By selecting a few large, well-established banks to manage the exchange process, the CBI can maintain greater control over the flow of currency and reduce the risks of fraud, counterfeiting, and other issues that can arise when dealing with international currency exchanges. It also ensures that there's a consistent and transparent process in place, which can help to build trust among dinar holders and investors. For those living in Canada or the UK, the process is similar. Standard Chartered, a major international bank, has been granted the concession to manage the exchange of the dinar in these regions. So whether you're in Toronto, London, or any other major city in these countries, Standard Chartered will be the bank responsible for facilitating the exchange process. Just like in the US, smaller banks may refer their customers to Standard Chartered or send the currency to them for processing. This arrangement also implies that exchanging Iraqi dinar will not be as simple as exchanging more commonly traded currencies like the US dollar or the euro. The Iraqi dinar, given its unique situation and the speculation surrounding its value, requires a more controlled and secure exchange process. That's why only a few selected banks are handling these transactions, and they are doing so under the direct oversight of the Central Bank of Iraq. In conclusion, if you're holding Iraqi dinar and waiting for the right time to exchange it, it's crucial to understand that not every bank will be able to facilitate this process directly. You'll likely need to go through one of the major contractor banks, like Wells Fargo, JP Morgan Chase, or Standard Chartered, depending on your location. These banks have established relationships with the Central Bank of Iraq and are equipped to handle the exchange in a secure and efficient manner.